welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Raw. Put away your case of the Mondays. We've got some hard-hitting action for you here tonight. Well said, Corey. I cannot. Here we go. Matchup's going to be a good one. Superstar ready for action. Here comes his opponent, wasting little time to start things off. There's the double leg takedown of the big right hands. Here we go. This thing's breaking down before it even gets started. Chaos ensuing here. Incredible. Out here now, Damian Priest and the Archer of Infamy is a man of impressive agility and outright devastating offense. Calculating and cool, Damian Priest leans on his martial arts background, ensuring each move is forceful and consequential. Absolutely, Byron. And any opponent that ends up on the receiving end of Priest's offense will end up battering. From the top! Look out the Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Two! Oh, it gets put into the barricade. By Priest. A uh, roundhouse kick. Four. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Knee strike connects. Balor possibly being reminded there that it will take a lot more to dismantle his opponent. Yeah, an example of that forceful, devastating offense from Priest. Coming back in the ring. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. He beats the count, and this would continue. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Finn is being worked on heavily. His shoulders are down, and he gets his shoulder up before the count. He is still very much in this. There he goes, right into the corner. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Oh, Balor's kick. Elbow drop right on point. And another just non-stop aggression. Finn Balor is such a dynamic, precise competitor in the ring. Corey, how do you take on a talent like him? Well, as extraordinary as Balor may be, he's still a man. And no man is perfect. Be on the lookout for little mistakes and simply capitalize. Keep on it. Oh, what a face. We're going to take a trip. Of infamy hitting the bullseye, and rarely is he off target. Face first with a waist lock takedown, and Chris spins him off. A counter answered by another counter. Reversal. Can he take advantage? face, Cole. He can't believe it. Looking wobbly in the corner. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes! Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. And Finn takes enjoyment in the suffering. That move comes. Here it comes! Oh, Balor could take this one. Look
the gold standard in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Hurt Business from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. Benjamin has an incredible resume and it just keeps getting better. A man blessed with literally every physical gift. As Shelton Benjamin can dominate on the ground or dazzle in the air. The most lethal superstar in the history of WWE, the Apex Predator. And his opponent, representing R.K. Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, The Viper, Randy Orton. As our good friend JBL often says, if you were to build a superstar from the ground up, it would look like Randy Orton. One of the most vindictive, one of the most vengeful, and one of the most dangerous superstars you will ever see. That's why I love everything about this guy, Saxton. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. Career decorated with championship goals. But despite that success, you could also say Randy Orton has carried himself as a very entitled and selfish superstar. Or you can look at the reality that Randy Orton worked hard and earned every bit of it. And look at it in the eyes of Randy Orton, a man more dangerous now than he's ever been. The Apex Predator glaring at his prey. But he'll be in for a long night at the office facing Shelton Benjamin. Over the years, we've seen Shelton beat the unbeatable. Shelton's outfits may have changed, the hair might be gone, but the skills just as sharp as they've ever been. Yeah, Shelton may not be as fast as he used to be, but he can still grapple with the best of them. That's why they call him the Gold Standard. Series of reversals. Picture perfect. Now look at hammer away. Big stop to the midsection. He's going to do some serious damage. Uh oh, listen. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Well, he's got to be somewhere. And yeah, look at. Gets him with the counter. An elusive Benjamin there. Back. Orton measuring him. Oh, nice. That's mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great win to wear down your opponent. He's starting to struggle here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. With the stomp. And the Viper now can feel the life being Picture perfect from Orton. That's gotta be it. Two, Two count. Three. And that's all that she wrote. That was some match, Byron. Yeah, I tell you what, these superstars make an incredible team. I would love to see them team up in the future. 
I'd love to see this. Look who's here. Look who showed up here in the arena. Oh, boy. This would be incredible. What a fight this would be.